Welcome to Bariya Babs Being the No. I'm your host, Vali Chikuni. We begin. Charlie Dates. Charlie Dates is the senior pastor at Progressive Baptist Church in Chicago. He's pretty much put out a question asking that what has happened to uh, the sacred black music. I don't know what he means by that, but this is what uh, Pastor Charlie Dates is asking. He's also wondering as to uh, the, the contemporary Christian music that they have taken over the, um, the black Christian music. And he's, he wants to know uh, who did the switch and who is getting paid, who is taking all, uh, all the money. Into, I don't understand why a pastor can be making these uh, types of allegations. Because to me, but when we're singing, uh, the song is not about you. The song is not about me. The song we're singing to God. So whether the person singing is black, is white, that shouldn't have any bearing whatsoever. The issue is, are they singing truth? That should be our emphasis. Who is singing? Is it coming from... Um, is it a biblically sound? Is it Christ-centered? Is it speed-led? Is it God-glorifying? That's what Christian music should be about. Not uh, what type of skin color is the person singing. So I do not understand why a pastor could be uh, asking these questions, making these, uh, these pretty much allegations. And when people are talking about walk, 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 and people... Uh, want to deny these things this is pretty much work theology at work right here let's just be honest call it for what it is but moving on we do have jack hill perry apparently according to her uh uh god uh speaks to her through dreams she's been experiencing prophetic uh prof she gets what um sense something spiritual things so according to her this has uh she's gotten in touch with um pentecostal roots so she's she's had a, lots of dreams that she's shared with people and this time around they she uh god told her in 2019 that she was going to have a son but in 2019 jack hill Perry did not have a son she ended up having uh she ended up having a daughter in 2020 but now she does have a son i think the son was born in 2021 but either way however you look at it if god told her that she was going to have a son in 2019 and she did not have a son in 2019 by default that wasn't god because we know god cannot lie so if god says it it will, it, will, it will come to pass because God cannot lie. And how do we know that God has spoken? Through his word. Sora Scriptura and Toto Scriptura. Everything, whatever we hear, we have to test it. Test the spirits and see that it is from the, uh, if it is from God. If it is true, it will, it, is, um, it will pass. And you hold fast to what is good. So this type of language, it's very... Um, it's very emotional and it, it makes people uh, second guess themselves. But we do believe God has spoken through his word. And this idea of, okay, God told me this, God told me this. And like, yeah, people dream dreams. Do things come to happen? Yes, they do. Uh, they, do uh, they do happen. But however else you're going to be hearing, whatever else you're going to hear, your test has to be scripture so if you're not testing anything based upon scripture but you're testing based upon experience then you're in contradiction of what the word of god teaches you might say something you might experience something we're not going to deny experiences that might be true but that's not how you determine truth it has to confirm to the word of god so this is uh what uh jack hill perry is saying I'll just leave it up, up to you. You guys, uh, you make that what you will. But I do know and do believe that God has spoken. And it is through his word. Moving on, we do have uh, Canada. Believe it or not, Canadians are still arresting pastors even to date. We thought we are past those issues. Derek Rema is a pastor who was feeding um, the homeless. And he was also preaching. 
and uh, the Canadian uh, police officers uh, uh, busted on the scene and arrested him. According to them, they arrested him because of amplification. But apparently, they do this all the time. But this time around, uh, they decided to arrest him. And Derek Raymer is one of the pastors who uh, pretty much defied uh, the COVID lockdowns, kept his church open, and continued on to feed uh, the homeless doing outreach ministry. So I'll uh, be in prayer about these pastors in Canada. They're still doing uh, weird stuff. Lastly, we do have the Prime Minister of Ontario. According to her, right now, yes, people, they can go about their business, not worrying about wearing masks, but they're keeping their eyes open at any minute. They, uh, If they see that there's a need, they will impose the mask mandates again. But for now, they just leave it as it be. They are still monitoring uh, the COVID, everything else, what's going on and in Ontario, Canada. So, hey, watch out out there in uh, Ontario, Canada. The mask might be coming back to your faces near you. <laughs> All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's all I have for you guys today. But tonight, um, be sure to tune in on Thursday at 7 p.m. We'll be talking about singleness, marriage, and divorce. I do have good godly sisters that will be uh, with me hosting the show. It's going to be nice. So I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. So be sure to tune in, bring in your questions. would like to hear from you guys. So Thursday at 7 p.m. And then on Monday, 8 p.m., prime time, be in the know. So get ready, prime time live at 8 p.m., Monday, April 11th. So we're just going to go out. Mega edition live. It's going to be interesting. I'm also looking forward to that as well. And then um, Monday, April 4th, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Mega edition. Another one. So be sure to tune in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to subscribe and to follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I want to be active on Instagram. I haven't been. So be sure to follow me on Instagram, Barians Babes. Follow me on Facebook, Barians Babe, And follow me at Twitter, at Barians Babes. Until next time, remember to be in the know.